go on to part C here of this campsite situation. Complete the table of values regarding the summer camp, then transform the table of values into function notation using the function name f. So that's something I'll share with you here in this video. And then transform the equation into function notation, the equation that relates to two variables. The two variables in our equation here were the number of campers, that was the input variable, and then C, the cost associated with that. So here's what I would like for us to do here. Let's take some values here for a number of campers. Say we have 100. After you're doing your calculation, multiply by 25 and then add 1,200, you're going to get 3,700. So when you have 100 campers, that's going to be your cost. Let's say we do 150 and 225 respectively so you calculate those and you should do this and verify on your calculator that in fact you get 4950 and 6825 all right so when you have 225 campers your cost will be 6825 now what's this business of function notation um, so let me give you the definition here up top it says um, function notation is another numerical symbolic description. It's a symbolic or a numerical description illustrating how the input variable corresponds to the output variable. So the syntax for function notation is the following way. Let's look at this first item here. When translating a table of values into function notation, like we're doing here, we're trying to take these table of values and translate it into function notation. Here's what we have. We have an empty space, a parentheses, equal sign, and then another empty space. These are the items that take the place of the spaces. You have the name of a function, which can be any letter, by the way, any letter. We have an input value, and then in, in the parentheses, and on the other side of the equal sign, we have the corresponding output value. So what I'd like to do is for you is translate this table of values into function notation here. And in our situation, we were given the function name f. So here's what we have. We have a set of parentheses and an equal sign. And what goes here is the function name. Function name for us was f. Remember, it can be any letter. What goes in the parentheses is an input value. So let's do 100. And what goes to the right of the equal sign is the corresponding output value. Well, what's corresponding to 100? 3,700 is. So that is written in function notation. This first row now of information has been written in function notation. And it's saying the same thing, that 100 campers cost 3,700, just written in this new notation. Now, how is this read? Is this, what's this f here? Is this multiplying with 100? No. It's simply saying that the function f associates 100 with 3,700. That's all it's doing, or f is assigning 100 to 3,700. So we could talk about this table as being the function f. I mean, it assigns 100 to 3,700 and each of these to each of these. So this whole table can be represented by simply one letter here, f. Um, but let's do another one here. I mean, if we were to write the second row, we would set a parentheses and an equal sign. And then the input value goes in there. The associated output goes there and the function name. So we have f. We have 150 inside and then 490, 490, 50. That's a 5. Okay, so um, in English, though, if you were to read this in a sentence, this is pronounced F of 100 is 3,700. F of 150 is 4,950. So that's how you would write that. And then the last row of information, F takes 225 and assigns it to 6825.